Right, oh, that should be that done. Oh, all these ships hurrying in. I'm glad my wheels haven't fallen off. <laughs> At least I'm not idle. Nice to be kept busy before the harbour closes for the winter. <laughs> Filled with Christmas cheer this morning, eh, Morris? Of course, Audrey. Tis the season. Hopefully we won't have a repeat of last year's derailment. <laughs> uh, I doubt we will. None of us have had any adventure lately. I'm not complaining, though. Not after how my year started. <laughs> oh, you must be joking. I can't have messed up that badly. I'm afraid you did, Mr. Scott, sir. Oh, silly me. Christmas at Philwick just won't be the same without it. Uh, what's manager talking about? You know, I'm... I'm not sure. I'll go ask him. Morning, Mr. Scott, sir. Uh, if I may ask, sir, uh, what's this I hear about Christmas at Philwick? I thought I had ordered a Christmas tree last week for the yearly party. Seemingly, however, I didn't. It must have slipped my mind. Oh, with all this extra work and the party drawing closer, we shan't have the time to find one. We'll just have to go without the tree this time, I suppose. Oh, don't worry, sir. Honest mistake. Uh, the others won't mind. Why, I'll even go tell the news to Audrey right now. Good afternoon, Morris. I'm here to collect my vans. Ah, yes. Uh, they're over there, next to that there flatbed. Is that a Christmas tree on the flatbed? Audrey was sobbing about how we don't have a tree this year. Oh, no, 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 no. That tree isn't for us. It's going to the mainline junction. A diesel's taking it away on a goods train. Don't know where it's going from there, though. So, we have a Christmas tree, but it's not our tree. <laughs> That's just sad. No time to be sad, Alfred. Besides, I'm taking it away to the junction this evening. It's not staying here for long. No point in crying over spilt milk. Well, uh, actually, there's quite a lot of point in crying over spilt milk, really. I mean, that's a perfectly good lot of milk you've just ruined, and, I mean... Honestly, it's rather sad. Maybe, maybe I'm looking at you. <sighs> I don't know how that little diesel manages to stay cheerful. Not even Audrey and Evelyn can keep smiles on their faces without the tree. I wish you were staying with us, Christmas tree. But uh, sometimes saying goodbye is our only option. I'll leave you here, all right? I'm heading back to the harbour for a seaside snooze. Alfred can have the main shed to himself tonight. <sighs> oh, lovely. Oi, Morris, be careful if you head over to the goods shed, all right? There's some new engine there talking to Alfred, and they're really weird. Ooh, a new engine. Oh, that sounds exciting. I'll go say hello. Thank you, Evelyn. Have a nice day. You too, Morris. Good flipping luck.
Hello there. I don't believe we've met- I didn't spend four years getting a degree to be slandered by a steamer like you, number 98462. Uh, I've told you my name, you airhead. Don't address me by my number unless you want some sense knocked into you. You wouldn't dare do that to a member of the Association of British Investigators. I used to work for Bainland Railway Doctors Incorporated, let me tell you. I deserve far more respect. Uh, excuse me. Hi, uh, I'm Morris. Uh, nice to meet you, Mr... Uh, Mr... My name is Investigator Launchpad. Thank you. Your nameplate says Launchpad McQuack. If you're really an investigator, your title would be Investigator McQuack, not Investigator Launchpad. What kind of name is that anyway? It sounds like it belongs to a cartoon character. Don't you dare insult my name! It's very special to me! Uh, okay, uh, Investigator Launchpad. Why are you here? Has something happened? Yes, something's happened. I've been called by Mainline Control to investigate the disappearance of a wagon. I'm told it was a flatbed carrying a Christmas tree on it, and that a little red diesel brought it here yesterday. I'm on the lookout for him, as I believe he could be responsible for this theft. Oh. Well, I hope you find him then. Mm, yes, quite. Thank you very much. <gasps> you! You're the little red diesel. I have the right mind to take you in for questioning. You're coming with me right this instant. You can't be suggesting that Morris is a thief. He, he'd never do such a thing. He wouldn't? I wouldn't? No! Uh, maybe it was another engine, one that uh, isn't from our railway. M maybe the main lines diesel took it away somewhere else. The evidence I've found thus far tells me that the flatbed hasn't left this railway. Follow me to that shed, Morris. I have a lot to ask. <sighs> uh, okay, yep. All right, yep, we'll, we'll do, yes. Tell me about yourself, Morris. What? I struggled to find any information about you, so I'd like a bit of your... backstory. I prefer dogs over cats, if that helps. Alright, let's just move on. When did you deliver the tree here, and where did you go afterwards? It was around 7pm uh, yesterday evening when I got here. I left the flatbed and went to Dreadmouth Harbour for a rest. That's where I stayed until I woke up from my dream about balloons and then I came here with some trucks and then I met you. Is this information truthful? Uh, yes. Wait, no, actually, um, the balloon dream was, uh, last week, um... Last night's dream was about Alfred and I playing poker. So, you weren't responsible for the theft? In some ways, I wish I was. <laughs> uh, we need a Christmas tree, you see. Manager forgot to order one, and now we haven't the time to get one for tomorrow's party. From my understanding, you do have a Christmas tree right now, but one of you engines has stolen it, and it isn't yours! That's why I'm here! Uh, I might be missing something here, but if you're so sure that the flatbed's still on this railway, why don't you look for it? Um, um, I, I, um, I, I don't know where to go, and um, no one wants to help me. <sighs> right, right, all right, how about this? I'm going to go do my work now, but once I'm all finished up tonight, 
You and I can go look for that Christmas tree. How does that sound? Hmm, good enough, I suppose. Great! Now, if you excuse me, I've got trucks to take back to the harbour. I'll see you tonight. Oh dear, oh dear, so much for not having any adventure recently. Oh, dratted snow. I hope that Morris chap gets back soon. Such temperatures aren't fit for diesels like us. Oh, I love the snow. Temperatures like this are brilliant for diesels like us. Wouldn't you agree, Investigator Launchpad? How could you say that? Are you insane? Aw, oh, I was just trying to liven up the mood. Uh, all right, um... I'll take you to our harbour first. That's where the Christmas tree was first unloaded from the sea. Uh, follow me. I haven't seen the flatbed here today, but there's no harm in having another look, is there? You run this harbour by yourself, correct? Yes. Audrey says I leave it very often, but I don't think that's true. People always seem to like coming here. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a nice locale, I suppose. Reminds me of what it's like to do proper work. Yeah, feels like a lifetime ago since I've done real work. Oh, well, um, if it helps, being an investigator sounds like good fun to me. <laughs> it isn't when you're searching for a Christmas tree in the middle of the night with tons upon tons of snow falling on you. Don't you worry. Uh, the tree will show up soon enough, I'm sure. What makes you say that? My instinct is usually trustworthy enough. Or at least, uh, that's what Alfred says. Oh, look! There he is now! Huh. What good timing. Hey, hang on! What's Alfred doing here? His last train was ages ago. He should be in our shed by now. Alfred! Alfred, wait! What, the, what about me? Are you honestly going to leave me here to fend for myself? Morris? Oh, good heavens, what a disaster this has been. Ooh. Ooh, it's a shame I wasn't built for speed. Ooh, if only they designed rockets built for diesel engines. Oh, why is Alfred come all the way up here? Alfred! Alfred, where are you? Alfred! Oh, oh there you are. Oh, what are you doing out here at this hour? Were you puffing in your sleep or something? No, 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 I wasn't. Uh, well, uh, I was, um, you see, I, uh, mm, uh, you, I, mm, I, I was, uh, uh, Wait, what's that behind you? Wait, Morris, I can explain. Alfred, did you steal the Christmas tree? Okay, okay, maybe I did, but I came here to return it. Uh, I was going to wait for the next mainline train and tell them to take the flatbed with them. But where on earth did you hide it? How did we not see it earlier? Right, uh, so essentially, after you brought the tree here, I came and took it to Philwick. Uh, you were sleeping at the harbour, so you never saw me come. Wait, you took the tree to Philwick? Why didn't Audrey and Evelyn tell me?
Audrey, I'm down for committing crimes, don't get me wrong, but like... Shouldn't we... Uh, maybe mention that the tree is here? Evelyn, we need a Christmas tree. Yeah, but Alfred said that Morris is being accused of stealing it, but it was actually Alfred and he's hiding the tree here. Evelyn, the Christmas tree is ours now. Uh, okay, darling, whatever you say, sweetie. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, okay, yep, yep, yep. That sounds, that sounds great, honey. <laughs> I just wanted to get a Christmas tree so everyone would be happy. I know Audrey and Evelyn wanted a Christmas tree for the party. But I realised stealing it was wrong and I came to take it back and... Uh, 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 are you... angry at me, Morris? I should be angry. Livid, even. But I... I just... I just can't. I'm just genuinely at a loss for words. Are you planning to tell Launchpad about this? So you're telling me that after all of this, after all this fuss, the Christmas tree was just sitting around in the yard here and no one ever saw it? Yes, that's right. How? It just was. To be quite honest, I stopped caring about this case around eight hours ago, so I'm not even going to question that. At least the tree's heading off to its rightful owner now. Everything worked out great in the end, and uh, there's definitely nothing suspicious going on here. No, 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 never. <clears throat> Alright. The Christmas party's starting in a few hours, Morris. We best get going. Are we leaving Investigator Launchpad here, then? Yes, he's done his bit. He can go home. End of story. Come on, Morris, let's just go. Investigator Launchpad, uh, would you like to come to our Christmas party? Is that a... serious question? Well, it would be a bit of a shame if you weren't there after all your efforts. We solved your case, so uh, why don't you spend some time with us? Sounds also lovely, don't you think? Why, yes, I, I, I suppose it does sound rather lovely. I don't. Alfred, listen, I have been extremely kind to you today. I should have been a lot more harsh, really. If you grumble about me inviting him, I'll tell him what you really did, and then you'll be sorry. Do you understand? Thank you, Morris. I deeply apologise if I have caused you any bother. Oh, never mind. Always knew I'd probably be wanted for committing a crime at some point in my life. <laughs> How is it that even after all of this, you manage to keep smiling? You've had so much work to do. You don't have a tree. You had to stay up the whole night helping me. And yet... You're still happy. It's just how I am, I suppose. In a world where things get a bit tough, it's important to try and make the best of a bad situation. You have to remember that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, and that you'll always have others who you can count on. There's bound to be bad things that happen, but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy the good things. We always have hope, even if we don't realize it. 
appreciate and enjoy every moment you can and appreciate those around you and show them your love. We must remember that everything will be okay sooner or later. So, why not smile when you can? That's the best you can strive for, even in the darkest of times. Wouldn't you agree?